7.1.1 says where electrons added to or removed from the sphere uh, we had a sphere which was neutral right so it basically had a charge of zero and then now it has acquired a charge of minus 1.95 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs we know fully well that electrons are the charge carriers the more you gain electrons the more you get a uh, negatively charged the more you lose electrons the more you get positively charged so if it went from zero to negative then it gained electrons so the answer to 7.1.1 uh, would be added to and then now we can move to 7.1.2 7.1.2 says calculate the number of electrons which were added or removed uh, from our sphere right so for argument's sake let's say the charge of an electron was minus one and then our sphere let's say it went from being neutral uh, to have been a charge of minus two it will be easy to see that uh, this sphere has gained two electrons that's why it went from zero to minus two because in this case we say in the charge of an electron is minus one right so this is how uh, you can tell uh, the number of electrons a sphere gained or not so in our case the charge of an electron is not uh, minus one but rather it is uh, minus 1.6 uh, times 10 to the minus 19 right and then the charge of our sphere is minus 1.95 times 10 to the minus 6 so we're gonna have the number of the electrons uh, that were added being equals to the charge of the sphere divided by the charge of one electron so this will be equals to minus 1.95 times 10 to the minus 6 uh, divided by minus 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 and then that will give you the number of electrons being 1.2189 times 10 to the 13 and then uh, for 7.1.3 uh, we are asked to define uh, the term electric field at a point that is the electrostatic false experience per unit positive charge placed at that point the electrostatic force experienced per unit positive charge placed at that point 7.1.4 says calculate the magnitude of the electric field at a point 0 0.5 meters from the center of the charge sphere so we know that uh, that will be equals to k uh, multiply by uh, Q divided by R squared, right? This will be equals to 9 times 10 to the power 9, the value of K, right? Our constant. And the value of Q is 1.95 times 10 to the power minus 6 why are we not putting a negative sign we're not putting a negative sign because we are only interested in the magnitude and then uh, the value of r is 0 0.5 meters right like we are told uh, squared and then if you put that in your calculator uh, you're gonna get uh, what do you get you're gonna get 7.02 multiply by 10 to the power 4 newtons per column and then now we can move to 7.2 7.2 says two point charges q1 and q2 are fixed 0 0.02 meters apart uh, so we have q1 and q2 yeah clearly um we have 0 0.02 meters here and then it goes on to say that uh, the magnitude of charges q1 and q2 is the same and q1 is negatively charged so basically q1 is equals to minus q2 right uh, because we are told that q1 is negatively charged but it has the same magnitude as q2 so in place of q1 we can but we can just put minus q2 and then it goes on to say the small charged sphere with a charge of minus 1.95 times 10 to the minus 6 columns is placed at a point 0 
0.03 meters east of Q2. It's already there, but I'll just uh, write that line again. And then it goes on to say that, um, so we are told that it is placed 0.03 meters east of point Q2, uh, as shown in the diagram below. And then it goes on to say that the sphere at point P experiences a net electrostatic force of 1.38 newtons to the west so it seems like we're taking the direction uh, to the west as positive right so that would mean that the direction to the east will take it as negative so we are asked to calculate the magnitude of the charge on q2 uh, this is not really complicated so we're gonna have f net equals to f uh, q2 on p plus f of minus q2 which was previously q1 right on p right and then f net f net is 1.38 and then this will be equals to f q2 on p uh, so we have k uh, q2 multiplied by p divided by the square distance between them plus um k and then now we have minus q2 uh, p divided by r squared why are we putting a uh, q2 as positive and then q1 we put in minus q with the negative sign so we put in q2 uh, with positive because q2 is possible uh, positively charged right and then point p is negatively charged so they attract each other when they attract each other P is being pushed to the west and we see that the direction of the west seems like we are taking it as positive in this problem that is why F net is 1.38 newtons right and then uh, here we put in a negative sign because minus Q2 has a negative sign and point P has a negative sign so they are repelling each other right so Q2 minus Q2 is pushing P to the east uh, that's where the negative sign is. Uh, we're not putting uh, the negative sign because of the magnitude or anything like that. We just put in a negative sign uh, because uh, Q2 is pushing uh, P. Minus Q2 is pushing P to the east. So we're going to have 1.38 uh, being equals to uh, 9 times 10 to the 9 multiplied by uh, Q2 which is what we are interested in right and then multiply by 1.95 times 10 to the minus 6 uh, divided by R squared so Q2 and P are separated by a distance of uh, 0 0.03 meters right so we're gonna have 0 0.03 uh, squared and then now we're gonna have uh, plus right uh i'm just running out of space here so i don't want to write it there uh plus uh, k again which is 9 times 10 to the power of 9 and then uh this time we have minus q2 right and then multiply by 1.95 times 10 minus 6 uh, divided by the distance between the distance between minus q2 and p is 0 0.03 right uh this distance here uh, plus 0 0.05 this distance here squared so now what we are going to do we're going to take uh, q2 as a common factor right uh, so we're gonna have 1.38 uh, being equals to uh, 9 times 10 to the power of 9 multiplied by 1.95 times 10 to the minus 6 right and then we're gonna uh, divide that by 0 0.03 squared and then we're gonna have minus uh, 9 times 10 to the power 9 multiplied by 1.95 times 10 to the power minus 6 divided by 0 0.05 uh, squared and all of this is being multiplied by um, is being multiplied by Q right All of this is being multiplied by Q2. So if you want to find Q2, uh, we'll then say 1.38 uh, divided by 
uh, this entire expression here i'm just going to try and copy it uh, just to save time so we have this expression here uh, being equals to q2 and then if you put that in your calculator you're gonna get uh, q2 uh, being equals to uh, let me just uh, do that real quick uh, you're gonna get that uh, being equals to 1.106 uh, multiplied by 10 to the minus uh, 7 columns 